Pro. Hello, welcome back to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. I uh, just thought I'd do another quick tip on um, basically uh, using Cthulhu. So, because uh, it's quite a, a little bit awkward to, to wire up again. Um, so, basically, I've just created Omnisphere. Big trans patch. So, F11 opens up our rack. So, I'm going to create track instrument, Cthulhu, add track, and there it is. So, what we need to do now is basically uh, tell Cthulhu to receive information from our MIDI keyboard, and that uh, MIDI information then wants to trigger our Omnisphere. So, what we need to do is click on Cthulhu, and our import is already my keyboard, Impact LX49, and it's going into Cthulhu. So now we need to click on Omnisphere, and you can see there my Omnisphere is looking for MIDI information from my Impact. We need to change that to Cthulhu, and it's going out to Omnisphere. So now, if you see, I'm pressing notes on both tracks, and I'm hearing absolutely nothing. Let's uh, see, that's the inbuilt sound of Cthulhu. So let's turn that off. So there you go, you can see nothing, no matter which MIDI channel I select. Now this is where people go wrong. What you need to do is basically highlight both MIDI channels. So there you go, simple as that. So the good thing I like about this is if we now just hit record, oh, let's actually go back to the beginning, let's hit record. As you can see there, it's basically recorded, let me just bring this in so you can see. It's recorded all the MIDI MIDI notes, the MIDI app notes, which is really, really handy because uh, now you can go in there and trigger it and configure it yourself and move notes around. Uh, everything's at the same velocity there, so you can change velocities. Uh, but it's really, really handy uh, to have all this MIDI information of arpeggiators so you can create your own patterns, save them. You know what key they're in because Cthulhu tells you when you're playing. If we open that up. So it shows you your notes here and it tells you what key it is there, G major. So you can press, you know, go one, two, three, four, five, and write down each each note um, if you don't know what the chords are. So yeah, really, really handy. Um, like I said, the most important thing to remember more than anything is to just highlight both MIDI channels. So there you go, that's Cthulhu. Uh, really, really nice arpeggiator. A little bit different uh, than, than most other ones. And again, you know, I'm not going to go into the details of, of using this, uh, spend some time. But you can see there just quickly, I can randomly move things and turn notes off. And you've got all the different options there octaves, pitch, velocity scale, gating, you know, harmony. So there's, there's plenty of stuff to go into and, and, and mess about with. Again, you can change all these as well to different notes, and so really nice. So, yeah, that's it. Quick tutorial from ADSR Pro. Don't forget, please subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. And until next time, bye bye. Pro.